Let's first put a bow on the opening week of the new campaign with our top plays and prime time performers. We'll start in the East Penn Conference and with those aforementioned Hurricanes from Liberty who earned a week one win at Dira thanks to sophomore running back Gabe Green. In a game that was scoreless until the fourth quarter, Green ran for nearly 200 yards on 27 carries, finding pay dirt from four and 37 yards out in the final frame, guiding the Canes to a 14-0 victory over the Huskies. In just one outing, the sensational sophomore outperformed his entire production from a year ago, turning in the most impressive performance on the ground that EPC saw in the opening week of the season. From offense, we move next to defense and special teams, which were the driving forces behind Whitehall's season opening win against William Allen. The Zephyrs opened the scoring when Jack Cucker returned the opening kick of the game, 74 yards for a touchdown, one of two scores for the senior on the night. Whitehall's defense then forced four fumbles, two of which were returned to the house. Justice Miles had one of those defensive tutties, Part of a night that featured six tackles for loss and a sack for the junior. After a 53 to nothing win last week, the first of the Andy Marino era at Whitehall, the Zeps take on Bethlehem Catholic coming up on Saturday. The EPZ's lone Saturday showdown last week turned out to be the game of the week in the Lehigh Valley. Central Catholic and Northampton tied at 10 in overtime, where the Vikings grabbed their first lead of the evening with this 10-yard pitch and catch from Antonio Fontanez to Aiden Sorrentino. Fontanez finished with 162 yards passing before Central's defense prevented the K-Kids' two-point attempt to win the game. QB A.J. Slivka running option right, but the Vikes closed up each and every option, ultimately swallowing up Slivka to preserve the 17-16 victory. Notre Dame Green Pond, meanwhile, opened the Colonial Schuylkill League season with a comeback win as well. The Crusaders with the final 36 points Friday versus Saucon Valley, sparked by senior signal caller Danny Darno, who broke off second half scoring scampers of five, 30, and 35 yards as Notre Dame ran away from the Panthers with a 48 to 20 triumph. Darno finished with 132 yards on the ground on just 15 carries. He also completed 11 of 18 passes for 188 yards connecting with A.J. Lozano on a 68-yard scoring strike as the Crusaders opened with a win over Saucon for now the third straight season. Finally, Banger also grabbed its third consecutive victory over Palisades on Friday. The Slaters sizzling thanks to an early season connection between seniors Greg Campbell and Riley Stapp. The quarterback and wide receiver duo combining for not one, not two, but three touchdowns, scoring strikes of 14. 27 and 29 yards in Bangers' 36 to 8 win. In one game, Staff equaled his receiving touchdown total from a season ago, while Campbell dazzled in his debut under center, finishing 8 for 11 passing for 118 yards and four total TDs. As we mentioned at the top, it's a short week for the Slaters who visit Jim Thorpe on Thursday.